stirring things up. Political Thinking with Nick Robinson. Watch on BBC iPlayer. Hello, this is BBC News. I'm Chris Rogers and these are the latest headlines in the UK and around the world. Our breaking news this hour, Japan's former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has died after being shot while delivering a speech at a campaign event. Police say a 41-year-old man suspected of carrying out the shooting with an improvised gun was arrested at the scene. In the UK, the battle to replace Boris Johnson as the Conservative Party leader begins at, for a new one after he admits his time is up. Are you going to be the next Prime Minister? Attention now turns to who might replace him with some MPs remaining tight-lipped over whether they'll be joining the race. Meanwhile, MP Tom Tuganaz and Suella Braverman have confirmed their intention to run. It's a really quiet Downing Street today compared to the last few days anyway, but that campaigning to be your next Prime Minister is underway. We will talk to supporters of some of those who are running or likely to run. Hello, good morning and welcome if you're watching in the UK and around the world. Let's uh, start with our breaking news this hour here at the BBC. The former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has died after being shot while giving a speech at a campaign event. Now, eyewitnesses say that Mr Abe was shot twice from behind while giving a speech in the streets. The country's current Prime Minister has condemned the shooting, calling it an act of brutality. And world leaders have also come out in the last uh, couple of hours expressing their shock as well. Now, a man was detained after the shooting. It happened in the city of Nara in western uh, Japan, where Shinzo Abe was giving his support to a candidate uh, there. Uh, let's uh, get more on this now and go straight to our correspondent, Marika Oi, who's uh, in Singapore. Um, Marika, incredibly shocking, not just because violence is so rare in Japan. It has been for such a long time. It's very difficult to get hold of a gun. But also, Shinzo Abe, we must remind all of our viewers, wherever they are in the world, that he remains a very powerful man in Japan. He was a hugely influential figure, wasn't he?